Okay. Okay, we're live. And this is Doc Green with Raging Elephants Radio, Raging Elephants TV, and I'm standing here with Murdoch Pisgotti, and you are the president of Come and Take It Texas. Yes, sir. So uh, tell me what we got going here this morning, Murdoch. We have a rally for HB 195, the constitutional carry bill by Stickland, and we are raising a fuss out here, drawing attention, bringing all the people we can out in support, and bringing a crowd by debuting Defense Distributed's very first ghost gunner machine today. So with this machine, you can take a block of aluminum and you can make a lower for an AR style rifle, which according to the Constitution of the United States is completely legal. It is completely legal to produce one for yourself, yes. So what is the problem here? I mean, I I see that you had a letter over here. <laughs> and this letter is from uh, Robert W. Elder, special agent in charge of the ATF Houston Field Division. And they're very concerned about you acting like you have constitutional rights. Everybody uh, freaks out. So. Uh, you guys are up here, you're, you're standing on your constitutional rights, you're doing the thing that every Texan should be doing. I was really hoping to see a couple of thousand people up here this morning. Uh, it looks like we're still not quite to a hundred folks, so I do see them coming in from all directions. But I, I just want you to know that I personally appreciate you coming up here and standing for the rights of all Texans, for my children and for my grandchildren. And uh, Murdoch, I, I've known you for a couple of years. You, you've been really working hard on, on getting the state to recognize that you have God-given rights that are guaranteed by the Constitution, and the state is infringing those rights. Absolutely. With Come and Take It Texas, we are the front line of gun rights, and we are not just working on the open carry bills, but we're, we're working on all of the regulations, like this overreach by the ATF to come in and, and stomp out uh, build parties and lower 80 par parties. Well, you could probably help me with this. Uh, what part of the Constitution actually authorizes something like the uh, Bureau of Firearms? Very good question. We should probably uh, pose that to them and see what they come back with. Because I can't find that. What I do find is I find that uh, you have a God-given right to keep and bear arms. That was recognized in the Second Amendment, which says, shall not infringe, which means that all gun laws that have been brought into effect since 1787 are illegal. They yeah. violate the Constitution. Well, yeah, they're just turning that right into a privilege by slowly making permits and licensing and restrictions. Uh, yeah, I, I think they've uh, kind of forgot what that shall not be infringed actually means. Well, I appreciate guys like you that are up here doing it, and I came up here early on a frosty morn in Austin, Yeah. and, and uh, we're all freezing our butts off out here, but we're here because the rights to keep them bare arms shall not be infringed, and we have HB 195, which would solve that problem for Texans everywhere, and I just wanted to personally be here and support you guys, and I appreciate everything you do. Thank you for coming out. What's up, JT? Uh -huh. <laughs>